Hi guys, Lee from Old School Window Cleaners. I wanted to do a little video today to help some of you guys of something that I found out. If you are, this is for guys that are doing, um, whether you do soft washing or power washing jobs. This can help you save a lot of time traveling around to quote for jobs. You can always get somebody, if, you, if you've got an advert on Facebook or if somebody rings you up, you can always get them to uh, WhatsApp you some photos of the drive. But, it's, obviously you're not going to tell the size of the drive from the photos. So this is where Google Earth comes in really handy. If you go onto Google Earth and put the customer's postcode in, it'll come up with the aerial shot. Um, of the, of the of the house, you can then obviously have it as 3D, and you can you can scroll round and look at the how many windows there are, and is there a conservatory or an extension, and and all that sort of thing. But obviously, Google Earth isn't that updated. So what I do is go on Google Earth, I take a screenshot, and I send that to the customer and say, is this the correct house, and is this how your house is now? And they say yes, that's how it is. So what you then proceed to do is you zoom into the to the, to the house on the, the 2D aerial aerial view. So you're looking right down on top of the house. Up in the top top uh, sort of slight right hand corner, there's some icons and there's a ruler icon. If you click this ruler icon, you'll get a crosshair come up. If you put the crosshair on the corner of the drive and click click it. That, that will make a start point. What you do then is you drag the cursor line across to the other side of the drive, click it again, then down, click it again, across the front of the drive, click it again, and back up to where you started. When you click it back up, it completes your grid. A bit like a dot to dot. It completes your dot to dot, because you can do any shape. Um, obviously, if it's a, a, a curved shape, you just slightly go over the curve, just to compensate for the curve anyway. Google will then tell you what the square meterage is, or square foot, whatever you want to set it as, but it'll tell you what the square meter is of that area that you've just pinged out with your dots and dots. So, Google Earth, as I said, it's, it's quite, I wouldn't say it's old, it's, it's not as up to date as it could be. I've used it before and people have said, oh, there's a, we've got a conservatory on the back of there now, or oh, we've got a lazy spa jacuzzi there, or sort of something like that. So I went out the front of my house, and out the front of my house, where there's a, a row of four houses, one, two, three, four, five houses, sorry, a row of five houses, there's six parking spaces out the front, um, and, a, and then in an air drive for the, for, the, for the houses. So... I used that as an example, I measured it out, and then I went out, paced it out, and it was spot on, to be honest. And I've also done it with some other jobs that I've done. I've used that to price up a job, got the job, gone out to do the job, and it's been spot on. So, that's a really handy tip. Um, even if you're not comfortable doing that, and you think, oh, I don't know, I could be underselling myself, you can use it as a guideline. Because I've used it as a guideline, I use it as a guideline, I, I ping it out and I think, right, I'm going to charge £2 or £2.50 or £3 per square metre, whatever you want. Work the price out and then say to your customer, it's going to be approximately X amount of money, but I would need to see it. If you're happy with that, we can come out, we'll do the work that day and we'll... we'll tell you the exact price when we get there but it will be no less than £200 but it will be no more than £250 um, and customers are happy with that I've done it and they've said yeah I'm happy with that I've gone out and just kind of sit in the middle and I've said oh yeah it's £225 or it's, it's this much um, I think with, with power washing I don't know how other guys do it if it's really green and really bad, um, the, the power wash is going to shift it anyway. Um, if you soft wash it, excuse me, if you soft wash it, then 
obviously it's going to take a bit more scrubbing um, but that, that's entirely up to you but yeah Google Earth is a really good tool that measuring tool is a really good tool for measuring the square metre and I've done quite a few quotes and I've said you're looking at £100 or whatever you're looking at £90 for that size driveway and they've got all oh, Okay, uh, I'll speak to my husband. You don't hear off him again. And you get back, oh, we're going to leave it till the summer. And I'm thinking, that that's great. And I don't mean this in a horrible way, but I could have spent an hour of my day driving over to your property to have a look, pace it out, and quote you, and you don't want the work done. You've just cost me an hour. And that's that's where it comes in, in real handy. It kind of... It kind of more than anything it sorts out the messes from the people that really want it done because a lot of people are just I wonder how much it would be we'll, we'll, we'll get some quotes and see how much it is they've got no intention of having it done sometimes they just think oh I wonder how much that will be so yeah use Google Earth the little ruler dot to dot the area out if it's a curve go slightly over the curve that'll tell you what the square metre uh, sizes you you all know what you charge square meters and you know what if you're using chemicals how much you're going to need all that sort of thing but yeah for those who don't know it google earth is a very good tool so thanks for watching please like subscribe ting the bell icon so you know I, when i upload a video that is six minute waffle flipping heck i need to start trying to get these videos a bit shorter i'm quite sure you've all got better things to do than listen to me waffle on so thanks for watching thanks for the likes the subscribes and i'll catch you on the next one guys hope this helps see you later